mother's love is a con uh, is an unconditional love but it is a secular kind of love it's not metta in, uh, in the first place because she has certain reason for loving that person but we are taking the narrative the whole framework of the idea that means mother is loving her own one son unconditionally but we are we are supposed to practice uh, metta unconditionally as well Now, the Buddha has compared matter to lo a love of a mother for her child. While a mother might not agree with everything the child does, she will always care for her child, wishing only happiness for him or her. She is also willing to protect her only child, even if it means risking her life. We have all experienced matter, the love of our mother. Does this analogy of the love of a mother to her only child establish the benchmark to aim in our practice interesting mata yata niyang puttang ayusa eka putta manurakhe just as a young mother who has only one son uh, uh, keeps extending uh, uh, personal love not metta personal love towards uh, her only one son uh, just as how she does that other beings have to practice metta uh, to ev all loving beings all living beings now the interesting point here is that mother's love is a con uh, is an unconditional love but it is a secular kind of love it's not metta in, uh, in the first place because she has certain reason for loving that person but we are taking the narrative the whole framework of the idea that means mother is loving her own one son unconditionally but we are we are supposed to practice uh, metta unconditionally as well uh, that's actually uh, the, the 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 ideal state of this metta practice we might not be able to get there as i said uh, in one day two day perhaps in one year uh, so uh, the reason is that when our metta practice is developing Uh, we are supposed to aim at that level going beyond our tiny little uh, uh, grudges mm. uh, personal issues mm. uh, our pretty much san uh, sanya our, our memories with other people we mm. should be able to overcome these things in our own understanding and uh, as you know uh, any mother does not wish harm uh towards uh, any son now remember there is a very funny story uh in the literature uh, one monk oh, sorry one mother said to uh, uh son you should not leave house today you are uh, always going with your friends if you go today you will meet a very ferocious buffalo and you will uh, be attacked by the buffalo so what happened uh son didn't listen to the uh, mother he left and then on the way he actually found out the buffalo yeah. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> so and the then, mother was right <laughs> and then what mm. son thought was that me my me what my mother really thought inside of her heart happened uh, not what she said uh, yeah no mother expect yeah uh, her son or daughter meet with these kind of hazards and then what happened buffalo went away Uh, uh, yes so i mean this is why we understand this unconditionality so how do we bring this unconditional uh, love towards uh, unconditional metta mm. that's a personal one mm. uh, maybe a little selfish mm. so when we uh, practice metta uh, over the course of uh, many years maybe some time we understand we cannot exclude anybody in our metta practice mm. uh, how to how to develop our metta practice at that level the more we understand about other beings and the more we understand the importance of taking care of other people's lives we are able to get to that point uh, when we discuss these things with the uh, normal uh, audience they question is it possible uh, how to do that i really uh, i have a i have a grudge about something happening mm. it is possible mm. if you let that go because every moment you uh, maintain this uh, level of idea uh, you are dying you are burning within you uh, things have happened 
maybe you are not anymore with that person mm -hmm. maybe they already passed away you have to get going you have to move forward that thinking moving forward not getting stuck not turning uh, around and backward will be the point you are going to continue uh, become consistent in your metta practice and going to touch that ideal level one day so that's what we learn from this mother's incident this mm -hmm. yeah, mother one young mother who has only one son how she is loves her love is very secular selfish one mm -hmm. but we learn not from the selfish love what we learn is that the unconditional part of that love mm -hmm. that we have to bring that over to our metta practice yes. so that's the part that the unconditional part is the equivalent of the practice of matter where we read it loving kindness to all beings unconditionally that's yeah, the thing okay yeah.